I've and just been talking to Sam about the first the time you guys got in the boat. She said you splashed quite a lot of water over her. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I think it's uh, she's definitely got her own back, though. Uh, it's tip for tat, I think. How much have you progressed since that day? Um, yeah, a huge amount, a huge amount. Because I came into, into the GB setup having done very little rowing, to be honest with you, and even through to the end of last season, uh, it was uh, very much a case of we need to, to get this boat qualified. Um, and so actually we probably sacrificed a bit of substance for the, the speed. So over the winter we've gone back to, to the basics and actually my skilling is, is so much better than it was last season. So that can only be a good thing for the boat. So we, we move, moved on a huge amount since where we, where we were you know, 12 months, 18 months ago when we first started. You know, it's, not a, it's not about being two individuals that can row very well, it's about rowing as a unit. Um, sometimes that means you have to compromise a little bit in certain areas because you know we're very different sizes. So, um, but at the end of the day, you know, it, it takes two of us to, to make that boat go quick. And so, you know, you need to have a lot of trust in the other person um, and also a lot of patience as well, just to not force things, not to tense up, just to be relaxed and to row relaxed and long and, and, and actually really just. Let, let your own do the talking really, not over, overthink it sometimes. But. And what are you most looking forward to about the games? At the half mile, it's, um, Lee, you know, I, I don't want to say it, it's, it's, to it's a regatta, it's a competition, so I think it's got to be, it's got to be the whole atmosphere, the whole, the whole feel around the games, the fact that it is a, a lead of great one length the fact that it's the home the crowd, um, and the fact that it's just, you know, that once in a lifetime opportunity, so I, th I think the racing will be brilliant, but actually the whole experience, you need to, to take it in and appreciate it and actually accept that you've actually come a long way and, and, and enjoy the occasion really because it won't, it won't come again. So, you know, the racing, yeah, obviously we want to do well, but enjoy the whole the whole deal, I think. Rio sounds nice, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. It'll be a bit of sunshine, but humidity is right up there and the heat's up there. So, yeah, I think a, a nice... Cool cross breeze in Dorney with grey skies on there. It'll suit me well. Continue to right. lead Sons of the Thames what's the, uh, by what's one What's the best length. bit of advice you've Lee had striking in your career heading towards the Paralympics? Sons of the Thames, 33. Um, Time to fall. Since you first stepped into that boat. Three minutes, 46 think, um, seconds. Probably what it was was, you know, you need to, you need to just enjoy the process. Um, especially last season, I felt a lot of pressure coming into the, the road. Uh, the need to qualify, the need to improve very rapidly. Continue to lead, um, Sons of the Thames. You can't lose sight of the fact that you know, we all choose length. to do this. And actually, you've got to enjoy the process because what's the point in getting out and training if you're not enjoying it? So, you need to get up and just say, you know, I'm, I'm lucky because I'm going out and doing something I enjoy and, and it's actually my job. So, you know, you've got to enjoy every day, otherwise, what's the point?